So I'm going to make a few remarks and then I'll take a few questions. Let me just be clear, what the Republicans did just a few minutes ago was a stunt. It was the thing, I think, that makes Pennsylvanians really upset with what goes on here in Harrisburg. This is the kind of gamesmanship that we were not sent here to, to play. We were, we were sent here to actually have a substantive conversation. And a substantive conversation includes a conversation on the structural budget deficit. What are we going to do about that? Not games, not stunts, but a, a, a real conversation. We need a real conversation on investing in education. How are we going to make our schools better? We need a real conversation on that, not stunts. What we saw a few minutes ago was just one more bit of evidence that the Republicans want to just perpetuate the status quo. And we all know the status quo simply does not work. The status quo didn't, hasn't worked as a budget idea for the last four years. It won't work this year. We have to address the real problems Pennsylvania faces head on. If we don't, we're going to do so at our own peril. So what we have to do is get to work. I want to get to work. Let's cut out the stunts. I'm willing to take a few questions. Yes, sir. Governor, do you think uh, that the stunt or not that the Republicans were making a legitimate point about the lack of support for all these taxes? No, this was a stunt. I think what they were, were doing is saying, okay, let's, let's show this. We have a, a heavily divided, I mean, heavily Republican-oriented House of Representatives, and, and uh, we can show a little muscle here, and let's uh, see if we can embarrass the administration. And to the Democrats' uh, credit, they didn't play along with that. Was yes. the vote necessarily a stunt? It, that was what it was intended to be. They, they didn't allow substantive conversation, a debate on the, I think, legitimate amendments that the Democrats tried to bring up. They didn't allow the suspension of the rules. Uh, at one point, the Republicans even voted, I think 115 uh, uh, Republicans voted against suspending the rules uh, on the uh, amendment that would have uh, addressed the investment in education. They voted against investing in our schools. The whole thing was a stunt. Yeah. Governor, right. do you believe that the language of what they presented technically accurately did represent your budget? I think, I think the, the amendment actually was in part my budget. It, it didn't have, I think, some of the things th that I had in with the severance tax, but uh, I, I think it was the, the way it was presented uh, as a stand up, uh, vote up or down bill. That's not what you do when you want to have a conversation. I want a conversation. I want a real conversation on this budget. I think that's what the people of Pennsylvania want, one where we actually look at this honestly, honestly. We have a budget deficit. Let's deal with that honestly. We have to invest in our schools. Let's talk about that honestly. Let's, let's stop with the, with the games. Well, Governor, you, you said that you wanted this budget of yours to be considered holistically. Considering Representative Markozik's amendment, which they needed to suspend the rules for, would have only been the spending side of it. You needed the. the yeah, I, 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 this is a holistic bill, and that, that I actually all the pieces tied together. That's one thing. But I also said, if you have a better idea, I'm all ears. Let's have a conversation. That's all I'm asking for here. There are pieces here that you take one out, you've got to replace it. I, under, I mean, th that's clear, and that takes a real conversation. That's all I want. Democrats initiated trying to put your budget into a bill. What was wrong with the Republicans saying, well, let's talk about spending for it before we vote, paying for it before we vote on spending for it? Well, I, that was a sideshow. I think what, what the, the budget process should be is let's, let's establish what it is we want, I mean, especially in Pennsylvania where we have this huge structural budget deficit. Let's think about what we, we want. When I ran, I heard voters of Pennsylvania say, we need to invest in education. What I heard is we need to address the budget deficit. What are we going to do about those things? Let's have a conversation. I, you know, we, we, have to, we have to look at, at what we need to do and, and then figure out how we're going to pay for it. Governor, only Brett? a couple more. Brett? Governor, about that huge structural deficit, uh, Majority Leader Reid was just up talking to us, and he said it's down by a billion to a billion and a half, less than the 2.3 that you talked about. Yeah, I think you've got to be careful about how you look at the mathematics of this. The, the, uh, uh, the structural budget deficit uh, that I think when you come in at, uh, at, at a billion dollars is looking at some one-time uh, deals that, that aren't going to recur. Uh, it looks at things like uh, the, uh, 
uh, escheats that may or may not uh, recur next year. There was a big uh, bundle of those this year. Those are one-time things. I, I think it's legitimate to say we have disagreement over what the budget structural budget deficit is, but I think he would agree with me that it's big. The gap, I mean, the differential between his prediction. Yeah, but but I, we can focus on that, and I, and, and I I have a pretty good I, I think reason for thinking that, that it's much bigger than he says it is. But even if you take his numbers, it's a big number. Last question: You say you want a conversation, a better conversation. The uh, House Republicans said this is the start of their conversation with you. It's a funny way to start a conversation. I think we can do a better job of that. All right, thanks very much.